everyone, in this video I'm going to take you through the very beginning stages of planning and breaking down your cosplay. Now I know the urge is strong once you choose your next cosplay to run out, get what you need, and get started, but I promise you taking the time in the beginning to do a proper breakdown of your costume is going to save you time, money, and it's going to make the whole process way less frustrating. So first things first, we need to choose what we're going to be cosplaying. If you're anything like me, the costume kind of chooses you. But before getting started on any project, it's important to take a few things into consideration, such as your working time frame and your general budget. This is going to help you determine if that full set of armor is really the best choice for your current situation, or if maybe you should just stick with something more simple. Now that we've chosen our costume, the first step of the breakdown is to find reference photos. It's always good to find as many photos as you can, showing as many different angles, details, and dimensions as possible. Once you've found millions of photos, you can put them in their own gallery on your phone or use cool apps like Cosplanner to store them so they're there for quick and easy reference. Personally, I like to have not only a digital copy of my breakdown in my Cosplanner app, but a physical copy of my breakdown. So to do this, I take one really good reference photo and paste it into this worksheet I made myself in Photoshop. Now you don't have to use a breakdown worksheet like this if you don't want to, you can just write on a regular piece of paper, but if you do want things to be a little bit more organized looking, I have put a link in the description to an awesome breakdown worksheet made by seamsgeeky.com. And now that I have my actual print out, it's time to start breaking down the costume. Now this process is exactly what it sounds like. So for me, I like to start by documenting every single piece of this costume, starting from big to small. Now this step may seem a little unnecessary, but I find that by doing this, it not only helps me keep track of all the different pieces of the costume, but it also gets my brain working into the different ways I might be able to make these pieces. Once I've mapped out all my pieces, I like to color code them to match my general supply list. Doing this step is going to help you figure out how many different materials you're going to need and also give you a better idea of how much of each material you may need. So at this point you can start deciding what kind of fabrics you want to use for your costume. Now there are tons of guides out there explaining different fabrics and what's best for what, so I'm not really going to get into that here. I will say that when deciding your fabrics, it's best to just use your common sense. For example, if your character is from a lower class, they're not going to be wearing the finest silks, and if they are from a higher class, they're not going to be wearing the most basic cotton. Following this thought process is going to result in something much more accurate to the character's timeline and status. Doing your fabric research now is going to save you so much time when you go to the fabric store because once you get there you will be able to walk past all the fabrics you know that for sure you do not want to work with. I once spent over three hours in a fabric store looking for the perfect shade of green. So trust me when I say that doing this work now before you even leave for the store is going to save you so much time and frustrations. Not to mention, while doing this research, you may find the perfect fabric online on sale. So now that you have your general pieces and materials figured out, we can move on to fun stuff like wigs and contacts. My biggest piece of advice is that if the wig shop you like to use the most sells a swatch of their colors, buy it. Online photos can almost never be trusted, so it's good to have these swatches in hand to not only compare with the photos, but to help you get a general idea of what colors you like the most. Now, there are quite a few shops online that sell wigs in the correct color and cut for certain characters, so if you're lucky enough to be doing a character that has one of these pre-made wigs ready, the only thing you need to be aware of is that once it arrives, you most likely will have to do a bit of styling. As for contacts, always shop from a website that has plenty of reviews and references to look at. If there aren't any real life photos of the contacts on the website, just go ahead and google the name of the contacts because I can assure you somebody out there has done a review of them and posted photos. And again, online photos can almost never be trusted, so a pair of contacts that looks one way on brown eyes is going to look a completely different way on green eyes, so try to find as many different reviews and reference photos as you can. Once all of the main stuff is out of the way, feel free to add any kind of extra thoughts or details onto your breakdown. And there you have it, you have now completed your cosplay breakdown. From this point, you can use the breakdown to determine your budget and your working time frame of just how long this costume's probably gonna take. I hope this video was helpful, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Hmm? I'm trying to film. You don't care? I love you.